Joshua 3, 4 says, Yet there shall be a distance between you and it, about 2,000 cubits in length. Do not come near it, in order that you may know the way you shall go, for you have not passed this way before. Now, Joshua 3, 4, remember the officers, they're still commanding the people. This is still exactly what the officers uh, are saying to the people, commanding the people. And so in verse 3, they said, As soon as you see the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord being, being carried by the Levitical priest, then you, also, you shall set out from your place and follow it. Now in verse 4, we see, Yet there shall be a distance. This is hard right here. There, sh- there shall be a distance between you and it, about 2,000 cubits in length. Now a cubit is roughly about 18 inches. A cubit is about 18 inches. And so this is about 3,000 3, feet. And so basically half a mile. Um, yet there shall be a distance between you and it about 2,000 cubits in length. So about, again, 3,000 feet or so. Do not come near it in order that you may know the way you shall go, for you have not passed this way before. Now, it's obviously true that no one in Israel had, had been this way before except for the, the two spies. Um, but this right here is, is a little difficult. You know, th- there may be a little bit more to this as well in terms of the fact that, that God is a holy God. And at this point in time, um, there had not been a final sacrifice, which we see in the Lord Jesus Christ. And so because of that, even though there was a temporary covering with, with the blood of animals, those could never fully cover sin. It was just basically a Band-Aid over an infected wound. We needed someone to completely remake us. We needed someone to completely heal us and forgive us, completely cancel our debts. We needed someone to pay the price, and that was the Lord Jesus. But that had not happened yet. And so because of that, God is holy, man is not. And because of that, there was distance. It's like in, in the Old Testament, even leading up into Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, what we see is that in the temple, there is a curtain that's separating the holy of holies. Even the priest could not go in there. Only the high priest could go in one time a year and, and do one offering for the whole people, but only once a year. And so there was distance between God and his people. And it was because of our sin. It had nothing to do with the Lord. It was because of our sin. We chose to separate ourselves. But now in Christ, boy, there's no distance. There's still, we still do suffer. Obviously, we don't speak to God. We don't hear God's voice audibly. We don't see him with our own two eyes. That day has not yet come. So there is still a level, a measure of distance, but boy, God has given us his Holy Spirit. He, he's not just dwelling kind of in the midst of his people and kind of a general over umbrella kind of sense. He is in each one of our hearts and minds and lives. He is with us right here. There, there is no separation like this. And so, so, so this is very much right here. This distance is very much an Old Testament um, issue that Israel faced, the Old Testament saints faced. But this is what it says, yet there shall be a distance between you and it, that's the Ark of the Covenant, about 2,000 cubits in length, about 3,000 feet. Do not come near it. This is a command. This is an order. Do not come near it in order that you may know the way you shall go, for you have not passed this way before. Again, they haven't been this way before. Possibly another, another thing, maybe the main point here going on with this last section that I want to say is that if they allow about a half mile, here's the ark, uh, it's being carried by some priests, and if if the people of Israel basically allow kind of a half a half mile um, in between them and the ark of the covenant, then this way it's not it's not surrounded by people. Instead. All of the people, even though they are at a distance, they are able to see the Ark of the Covenant going toward the Jordan and actually going into the Jordan. They are actually able to see the Ark of the Covenant, the priest carrying it, going into the river. And they're able to see everything that God is doing. And so being at a distance here also provides that opportunity for all of the people of Israel to be able to see exactly what the Lord is doing on their behalf as individuals 
and as a nation. So it's not all bad in terms of the distance, but there's also this reason, uh, do not come near it in order that you may know the way you shall go. Obviously, they're going to lead you, the Ark of the Covenant is going to lead you into a new a new area, a new path. Um, you have not passed this way before, but it also allows each and every person in Israel, though they are at least a half mile away, to be able to witness this historic event of taking the Ark of the Covenant into the Jordan River. And so this is Joshua 3, 4. Yet there shall be a distance between you and it, about 2,000 cubits in length. Do not come near it in order that you may know the way you shall go, for you have not passed this way before. Joshua 3, 4.